Good morning everyone and welcome back to Johnny's XJ Oh my god Right then, welcome back. That's the floor all nicely fixed. Uh, just got a bit in the corner over there to fix, but I'll wait till the weather improves before I do that. Uh, last week's video was the divvy. Big disappointment. Uh, went for Sunday dinner to my brothers. I did come back. I did put it all together. Well, I didn't put it all together. I just put the air filter on put the petrol tank back on, put the seat on, drove it up the street and it was exactly, exactly, and it was exactly the same as it's always been. Shit. So, uh, this video we've got the carburetors out again for the umpteenth time and uh, I have actually found some jets, what I didn't know about, hiding in the back. I took these induction pipe things off whatever they are and inside here there's two little jets on every carburetor and these ones I have taken out and one of them is blocked so I'd imagine all the rest of them are blocked so that is something else to investigate I don't know if you can see the jets in there hopefully you can trying to get a good picture I think you can just about see the margin in the background, two brass jets. I knew they were in there, but I didn't know they was uh, removable with a screwdriver slot that they are. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today, taking those jets out and cleaning them. And, I have ordered, I've actually found on eBay, you know the intake rubbers, what go on? from here to the engine I've actually found a set of those for £18 and they look pretty good from the photos so I've ordered those so when they come I'll be putting those on as well hopefully and hopefully uh, everything will be on Kidori <laughs> so uh, I normally do it at the end of the video, well I haven't done it for a while, but at the moment I'm going to put my uh, comment of the week, my favourite comment of the week up. Here it is. So what is this guy actually saying? Saying that I'm some kind of cheat, I'm putting YouTube videos up just to make people look stupid. Or something like that. Uh, oh yes, uh, what's that? Probably 50 or 60 hours a week I spend off my time making these videos, answering comments, related to people on my comments and you know making the video editing it uh, all out my own pocket and I'm doing this just because 
I want to let the, make the audience look stupid. Okay, mate. Anyway, let's get on with it. Oh yes, and I almost forgot <laughs> about my audio in my past videos. Very sorry about that. There is some of you complaining, but uh, if you like to hear a lot and lot of talking, there's a guy out there called Roy Dean. He's doing his channel. He's trying to get his channel going. So go and watch him because he never shuts up. Okay, Roy. Good luck. Another thing I've noticed as well. If I go under this light. It affects my audio with a buzzing noise. So I've got to do this all in the dark. Can't win, can you? Uh, another problem with these carburetors, what I've just done, did it myself. The joke bodge up job what I made. But if that's in focus, I think it is. It's actually snapped. So I've got to uh, come up with some idea of fixing that as well. Okay, so there is three little screws to take this part off. This part does come off. There's one screw there, one screw there, and one screw there. So let's reboot them. One, two, three. Did have to take them off all the way because there's like uh, little slots on. As you could see, the outer two have got little slots on, but the middle one has just got an eye. So you could leave one screw in. Then we've just got to try and get to little jets inside. There's one little jet. And there's the other little jet. So let's try and get the first jet out. Let's get my screwdriver lined up. Jet. All right. <laughs> Can we focus? Not going to focus, is it? So there's the first little jet, and it is blocked. Don't know if you're picking that up, but that one is blocked. Uh, the other jet inside there isn't blocked but I'm going to take it out and clean it but I'm going to leave it there for a minute because I think these two jets are different and I don't want to get them mixed up okay so we found a little bit of guitar wire guitar string I don't really put it on here because I can't find it once I put it down. To get the uh, little jet out. Let's see if we can uh, put the wire through it. Oh yes, gone through now look. So that must be that jet clear. I can see light through it too. Still can't see light through it. We've put my super duper glasses on. Can we see any light? 
do can't see no light. It's quite strange. Would have thought you'd see a little light through there, wouldn't you? <laughs> Don't drop it. Ah, now I can see light through it. Yes, I definitely can see light through it. Well, that was weird, wasn't it? Couldn't see light through it at first. Don't know if you could see light through it, but that's it. Can you see the light? Go to the light. No, I don't think you can see it. So that's that one. So I'm going to put that back in before we lose it because I don't want to get them mixed up. So I'll put that back in, then I'll take the other one out. So okay, that's all that fixed uh, back together. I've just got to put these two caps back on. And that's that. Give them a blow out with the air. But I have noticed something else, I don't know if you can see. I know these two have still got the slides in. But these two with the slides out, if you could see down that one, you can see how that bell thing is proud. Stick it up, I can't push it down. And uh, this carburetor was the same, but I've managed to take it out and put it in the carb cleaner. But the other two, if you can see down there, are actually flush with the body. Flush with the tunnel, bottom of the floor tunnel. So maybe that could have been another problem with the bike not revving up, I don't know. So that's another thing to investigate. Try and get those seated properly. There is a that is the one I've taken out, and there is like a notch a groove which should obviously slot into. So maybe that's what's wrong, they're not lining up properly. I don't know. So, so much to look at, isn't it? Something else to look at. Uh, some more wishful thinking going on probably so anyway I'll get all these back together clean everything up and cleaning everything up now I've taken everything apart and cleaned it up but you've seen that a million times so I'm going to do all that off camera and then when I do come back and everything's back together we'll try and work out how to fix this choke sliding thing because there's no way to put the cable anymore because it's just completely snapped so well, we can still use this bit of wire, I don't know, but I think we'd do with a better fixing, really. So let's see what we can come up with when I come back. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let me try and show you what I'm doing. See the little pin thing with the groove? That's what the uh, long needle slides through when you rev the bike. It's got the little groove on it there. If you can see it, I think you can see it. That sort of goes through the body. And I don't know if you can see. That's the hole it, it's uh, going to fill inside there. And there is like a little these straps and stuff out of the way, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, it's a lot easier with my other camera. But you could see down there that there's a little... In fact, it's not that one, it's that one. God, I don't even know what I'm on about, do I? Yeah, it comes out this one. And on the side wall there, there's a little pin pin is sticking out where that should line up I suppose don't know if you can see it on the shot it is actually where this where my thumbnail is on that body part what's sticking out of the tunnel piece ah, there it is you can see it that little pin is what that groove's got to line up with 
and I don't think they were in, seated in properly before so that's what I'm doing now ok so I'm just going to clean the main jet and uh, stick that in so my bit of tissue get the main jet out of the cob cleaner give it a dry because it's wet and uh, I will also blow through it with the air Just back over. A little bit of a blow job as well. Uh, there is another part to the main jet. That's the main jet, well that's the main jet nozzle and the main jet is in the top. Uh, but there is another part which I just forgot, which is the uh, tube only piece, the only tube piece. I'll dry that up as well. I can see through everything, through all the little holes, and I can. And on this little tube, one end is clear, but the other end has a little notch, and that end goes at the top as you drop it in. So basically, it goes this piece. That notch goes in first, and then you screw them into the culbret body. Like so. And that is an 8mm nut sort of thing on the end of the nozzle. And there's a screwdriver slot on the end of the main jet. And I'll just use the screwdriver slot to slightly tighten everything up. So I've never had any of these come loose before. So you don't need to do them super tight. Let me just get my screwdriver. <laughs> Standing on the air gun. Here we are with the screwdriver. Uh, we just want to give it a little tweak. That's not it, that'll do. Just keep your fingers like that. No need to screw it like that. Just keep your fingers like that and that'll tighten it up enough. So that's that. Then we've got to put the other piece back in what uh, has to go into that little groove you know as I did on that other one and I'll show you something else I I found out about that yes uh, try and explain it a bit better what I'm talking about to get it out of the uh, carb cleaner it's this piece you know with the groove on what was sticking up inside the carburetor tunnel and what I've since found out is this piece with the screw head on it is what retains it from the other side of the carburetor so it actually screws into it and so that was screwed 
into those two carburetors they were screwed in but obviously they weren't in line so that was it's supposed to be up to the body like my thumbnail but it was up to about there somewhere just sticking up in the air so I'm sure that's going to cause a problem whether they've been like that since the very first time I cleaned the carburetors I don't know which is uh, wishful thinking again I think but uh, I don't remember taking these out on the other cleaning videos so I might be in luck it might be just that these two weren't sitting properly but uh, you know you can always dream can't you anyway let me show you how I got it this into that one because it was a bit difficult now I need the long nose pliers let me show you my setup can we go backwards Woo, that brilliant and I'm even sitting down on my little chair at my little desk wicked the joys of having a camera with a zoom on it Okay, we zoom you in a bit more. Oh. That's it. So you can see what we're doing. So I need the pliers and I need the screwdriver flathead and I need this piece of daddy, this piece to do what I'm about to do. <laughs> this piece goes in as you know inside the tunnel and it's very awkward to get it in so what I've done and I've worked out that the groove on there should be at the back so there's the lead here so there's the groove and the groove should go in at the back of the carburetors or the front, whichever, I don't know which it is. So just get them like that, put them on your pliers so the groove is at the facing forward and I just uh, put it into the body, dropped it down, pushed my finger through the top and then twisted it till it lined up that's it I think is that it? no it's still not gone down all the way ah that's it and now it's gone down all the way seated like it should be but if I tip the carburetors up again you <coughs> god I sound like somebody who knows what they're on about don't I but if I tip the carburetors up again it'll just fall out so you have to keep your finger on it there's, there's the thread showing there of what I just shoved in and then that little thing goes in and holds it into place like so then it should still be seated correctly and it is they are both seated they are both corrected solidly corrected solidly they're both seated correctly oh yep you can see that I think you can but they weren't when I took the carburetors apart so now then what we've got to do is just put the rest of the bits back in and then like I say we will try and work out something on the choke so I just thought I'd let you show you all that bit after I'd worked that one out worked this one out so I thought I'd show you 
how to do that one in case anybody else wants to do this sort of thing and they don't realise, like I didn't realise, that they're messing things up by undoing that because that's holding the actual tunnel body thing what the needle goes up and down in into place so don't make the same mistake as I did whenever I did it, I don't know when I did it but I did it so that's all I wanted to explain I'm not trying to make anybody look stupid like the guy says in the comment because what's the point in that? of course some people are just idiots aren't they? anyways no front. Okay, so that's the first little chair to help. What we do is uh <coughs> Okay, so that's the first little jet out. What I'm going to do is put them in some uh, carb cleaner. Can you see that? I can't really see it, can you? Bolts, carburetor, and valve cleaner. Just put some in the cap and uh, just wash your little valve around. leave it to soak for a while okay then that's all the carburetors back together so now let's get on with trying to fix the choke okay then so I've had a good rummage around and I've found this what I'm going to fix my choke with. Let's get on with it. Okay, so that one's a bit of a fail. The holes in the wrong place. I could actually be doing with that end being a bit longer. So start from scratch. in the wrong place so just stick it back in and drill another roll and cut that bit off should have done that in the first place shouldn't I Oh, 
hopefully it'll work. It's not very strong, it's only alloy, but should be strong enough for that. But if it isn't, then I'll have to make it out of something a bit stronger. There. Should do the trick, shouldn't it? Let's try it. If you could see that. So that's that jump. So that's that job done. All we've got to do now is wait for the inline, inline inlet rubbers things to fix the carbs to the engine instead of using my own made red ones. Okay then, so that's as far as we can go with the carburetors for this week. I think it's been a nice long video. Uh, I've used all my new camera through all the footage. I haven't used my old camera yet. Uh, carburetors. Hold on, even with the choke fixed. So hopefully there's going to be some improvement in the bike when the uh, manifold rubber things come. Hopefully they'll be here tomorrow or the next day. So I'll be another video for the XJ next week. Five, five, part five. I didn't think the XJ would go to part 5, I thought it would be part 1, part 2 at the most. But uh, that's life isn't it? Especially when you've got a cursed bike like mine. Oh, I'll never ever in all my days get another Yamaha, I promise you that. First Yamaha I had, I was 16 years old. I just got it running, mum says can you go to the chip shop? Oh yes, okay, no tax, no insurance, no OOT, get stopped, lose my driving licence before I even get it. Uh, Yamaha number 2, RD 250, in my shed, with a Kelly gas heater because it was freezing cold, taking the petrol tank off. Yes, my shed burnt down and I got out with my life. Yes, Yamaha number 4, FS1E. Uh, went to the paper shop to get some sweets. See in the window, a little advert. Yamaha FS1E, take away. So I knocked on the door. Yes, there it is, take it away if you want it. So I took it away, pushed it up the street to my house. Two weeks later, knock, knock on the door. Policeman plod. I believe you've got a stolen bike. What? Yes. Let me kind of get a Yamaha again. Never. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment. Uh, tell all your friends about this fantastic channel like you did last week. Uh, and uh, don't forget Uncle Roy, Roy Dean. Go and check his channel out because he's a right chatterbox. And I'll uh, see you next week. Oh my god, here's me thinking I've got the perfect video this week and doing the editing, what do I hear? This fucking light. Sorry guys.